research on the idea that we might use some particles other than, than sulfuric acid in the stratosphere is really at its infancy. Uh, we're just beginning to do research, publish papers. We're actually starting laboratory research this summer that will look at the chemistry of uh, some of these particles, so the alumina and diamond surfaces. And the results from our stratospheric chemical models suggest that these things could have s really less risk, so that some of them might have half of the ozone loss for the same amount of what we call radio forcing, so the same amount of geoengineering. They might have half of the ozone loss, and we even have ideas for how we would have no ozone loss. So there are really ways that we could, uh, we think, have less environmental risk. But all of these things should be treated very cautiously, because unlike sulfur, where we actually have observed nature, uh, put sulfur in the stratosphere through volcanoes, and so we know a lot, and we can be pretty confident there are no huge unknown unknowns. Because, for example, we put, in, in Pinatubo, put 8 million tons of sulfur in the stratosphere in one year, and we're talking about putting half a ton or a ton. So with these particles, you have to be very cautious. But the reason to look at them is that they might lower the environmental risk.